G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. Today what I'm wanting to do is a landscape type painting. Now it's a trial because I've never done one of these before, but I have been watching a few videos uh, of various people doing landscapes and they use swiping tools, they use flip cups. Now I'm wanting to do it as a flip cup and maybe a little bit of a swipe, but I'm not sure whether I'll use a serviette swipe or whether I'll use my swipe tools to do that yet. So I'm going to play it by ear. It's basically a test, an experiment, you know, me and my experiments. I thought I'd start small for starters. So I'm using a 20 by 25 canvas, centimetre canvas, which is what... Uh, I can't remember what it is in inches, but I'll uh, find out and pop it up on the screen for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use little cups to do these flip cups. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to do like the sky, top of the sky, the bottom of the sky, the beach, and the sandy part of it. Now, the colours I've got to do that, I might use that one instead. The colours I've got to do that is for the sky part, I'm using Sullivan's uh, Pale Periwinkle. Perlex Grey Lavender. DecoArt Metallics Purple Pearl. Uh, this is the Perlex Salmon Pink. Then for the next part of the sky, it's going to be uh, Vivid Intense Dioxazine Violet. Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red. The Art Saver Lemon Yellow Hue. Sullivan's Citrus Orange. Then I'm going to do the beach and I'm going to do the Eraldo de Paolo Metallic Ocean Blue. Uh, Paper Mill Paradise. Deco Art Coastal Satin Waters. And the last bit is going to be a mixture of Boyle Terracotta and Amsterdam Pearl Red mixed with also a little bit of the Amsterdam White Cell Activator to create the foamy, foamy uh, waves. So, like I said, I've never done one of these before, so it's all trial and error. And I know some people put tape and they come back the next day and do the dry bit, and, but I'm going to try and do it all in one go. Hey, you know me and my experiments. I like to do things a little bit different and um, crazily. And if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. It's the only way you're going to find out. Now, the paints are my normal thick bloom paints, but what I've done is I've added... 5 to 10 mil of Floetrol in some of them, in most of them, in fact, and then up to 20 mil of Floetrol in the thicker ones. Some of these have been a bit thicker, like this Amsterdam one, for instance. Then because some of them already had Floetrol in it and they were starting to thicken up a little bit, I've just added a, a dash of water to make sure that they're still a little bit thinner. So they're not quite as thick as the bloom mix i'll show you the the consistency so basically there is a little bit of a mound and then it disappears just a small mound so it's a little bit less than a normal bloom mix the actual mix that i've got will be in the descriptions below so anyway let's get going i will Start filling the cups up with the colours and see how we go.
have to work out what I want that way. So I might just turn it that way. Can you still see it on the camera? You can. It's called not having enough room. All right, first, first things first, there's a lot of bubbles in that. Because like I said, I had mixed some of them today. My mistake here was that I put the flow troll on the, the last one. It should have gone in first. There's a tiny little bit of blue there. Hopefully when I put the pinpricks will bring it out. Or what I might need to do is manipulate it with the... I'm not sure I like... That looks like a bit of a wave, doesn't it? Let's see. Where's my trusty tool? Let's see what I can do. Hoping that I can get some some blue from underneath. I like that beautiful colour. Grey lavender looks beautiful. I don't think I'm going to get any blue in that, sadly. Maybe if I swipe it rather than without. I don't want to wreck it, but anyway, I'll give it a go. Yeah, there you go. bit more it's a little bit hard to move I'm gonna to have to move this a little bit further back otherwise it's gonna knock it I shouldn't have done that I kind of stuffed up a bit there. I like the sky bit, that worked out pretty good. Let's see, let's try and bring that. It's a little better. the sky bit better kind of looks like hmm I think what I might need to do is work on the layering I'm going to do this I don't like that I kind of washed it off the edge there and I I'm liking this bit here. I'm liking the sky. Now I've just got to get the water the way I want it. I don't think it's working as well as I would like. I might have to manipulate something there. I don't mind that. It's just this bit here. Too white. Yeah, no, it didn't work out. Kind of stuff that up. Alright, so I'm just going to top that over the edge a little bit more. If it still moves. I've made not enough paint. I thought I had too much paint. 
obviously I haven't so maybe five cups might have done it for this one I could scrape it and start again okay here we go again that first one did not work out at all I'm just trying to make sure that you can see it on the camera there so I'm going to re-pour them and some of the colors I've had to change primarily because I just realized I haven't mixed that one um, primarily because I didn't have much left so I've mixed them with other colors just to as close as you know colors that are pretty close now I've made this one probably too thin no this is perfect now I've also gone through and added uh, some more flow troll in spots because some of them were quite thick hence why they weren't moving properly across the uh, canvas in the first place now the next thing I've got to do is make sure that I layer it differently so in saying that for the first one I'm going to start <coughs> with this one I think rather than the blue because I want more blue because it's the sky but I do want the colors coming through so I'm still using I'll tell you where I've made the different colors when I get to them all right, so that's still the salmon pink from Perlex. Grab that. Uh, now the purple, the Deco Art Metallic Purple Pearl, I've mixed with Eraldo Di Paolo Metallic Lavender because there wasn't much in there and it was a little bit thick. And when I put the um, float roll in it, it obviously went. Too thin so then I had to add something pretty similar so that's what I've done and that's the Eraldo so it's pretty similar to the purple pearl that there uh, now the rest of this I love this color as you know this is the Perlex gray lavender Oh, I did it again. Ah, oh, crazy broad I am. I did it again, would you believe? I'm going to kick myself now because the blue <laughs> I wanted to be on top. And, of course, it didn't work out that way because I sillily, sillily, there's such a word, um, I made the mistake of adding it on top which means it's the bottom what I might do though is add a little bit more and maybe it'll come through hopefully a little better without the swiping even because I'm going to try not to swipe if I can help it all right now <clears throat> what I'm going to oh, I'll come back to that one this is the, the purple so you can see what I'm doing and again, this is going to be on top. I did it again, didn't I? Ah, oh, silly bugger. All right, doesn't matter. I'll do it. I'll just get a new cup. I want to start with the yellow because that's what I want on top. Now, the yellow, I didn't have quite enough. So I've mixed it with Prism Pour Tuscan Sun, just a little bit. And it's made it a little bit um, warmer from before. Same orange as before, the citrus one. Can't add the pink because I don't have any more pink left, of course. So I'll just add the red. That one looks a bit thick too. I didn't mix that one, did I? I thought it was going to be all right. I might put all of that in there and use it all up. <coughs> Okay, and then I will just pour, oops, pour this purple that I poured in here on top. Yeah, that's better. And just a tad more orange in that one. So I can 
use it all up and because I want more paint because I'd rather have more paint than less paint this time okay so I'm using them up now so I'm pretty happy about that a bit more yellow and we'll leave it at that because if I put red on that it'll go orange and I don't want that put out a little bit more purple just to fill that up a bit all right that'll do I'm going to add this Amsterdam underneath now I've added more flow troll to this so I'm not going to add the the cell activator at all because there's more flow troll than I wanted to put in in the Amsterdam pearl so I'm just going to leave it at that lots of cleaning to do today with all these cups I will add a bit more of this blue now because I don't have very much of this paradise the paper mill paradise there's only a little bit I've gone and had a look in my color and I really wanted to add this and I didn't want to add anything to it so what I'm doing is I'm adding eye candy McCall whoa throwing them around and because that has the same sort of look maybe a little bit brighter this one has more green I think whereas the paradise has more blue but I'm not too worried and unfortunately this is a little bit thick though Damn. should have thinned this one out too oh well doesn't matter all done now pop that there and um, now the coastal waters from deco art was not enough so i've added a little bit of eraldo de paolo bora bora which is very similar in color one's a little bit bluer the other one's a little bit all righty and a little bit more of that amsterdam now with this other one hopefully that's more paint than i need because before it just wasn't quite now what I've done with the the bottom one is I'm going to add a whole heap of this then I'm going to add now the boil terracotta I it I made it uh, a little bit thinner and I made it too thin so <laughs> I don't don't want to add any paint to that because I want to just use that up so I've added I've had some De Deco Art Metallics Rich Espresso and I've added that and that's kind of made it a little bit deeper and I actually like that colour. I don't mind that colour. So I'm just going to add that. Those two colours are the only two colours I'm going to put there. So let's hope that it works this time, hey? Wish me luck because if it doesn't work, I don't know. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and do something else. Now I'm just going to clean this and pick up some of the paint that I've got around the edges just to fill up those corners that I've missed before I actually start tilting. Any blue there? No, none. There's some blue there, so I'll just pick that up. Sorry, extend that one to make it move a little bit more. I 
Okay, wish me luck. Let's start tilting. I'll go this way first to get rid of that little bit there. And try and do it outside the cups. Okay. I love the beach part. There's not much foamy bit, which would be because I didn't use the, the CA. I will just pick that up. Go over the side there. Okay, it's a little better. Although it is quite thin, isn't it now? <laughs> I've gone from one extreme to the other. But um, I'm liking it better this way, to be honest. Uh, there's not much wave, which I can come back and put it in with the palette knife. I'm not really liking that line there much, so I'm going to have to play around with that and that. Yeah, I love the sky. I love the beach part. I like even the sand bit. It's beautiful, that colour, actually. Mixing those two colours together was quite nice, actually. Although I do have a problem here, it seems to be thinning out a little bit. I might just add a little bit of that there. Because it's got a bit more white in it. I'm not liking that at all there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really liking that bit much. I wonder if I can tip it up that way a bit more. I'm thinking that I certainly need a lot more practice. <laughs> That's interesting with the sand going through there. That actually doesn't look bad. I don't want to go too far because I don't want that to go in there. Let's see if that will move down a bit more that way.
Alrighty. Okay. I think the paints are a little thin now. <laughs> I've gone from one extreme to the other, damn it. I can't win. Because now they're going off the edge here, as I noticed before. I've gone from one extreme to the other. So those ones now will have to be used for Dutch balls, I think. Because they've gone a little too thin. But that's okay. As long as they get used, I don't care. All right, that's it. I won't touch it anymore. I might have to go in and maybe do some uh, work with Posca pens or paint when it dries, I think. I'll just pick that up there because I think I've got the same problem as before. It's gone off the edge again. And the fact that I'm not actually picking it up and wiping it uh, underneath at the moment is probably the reason why. Whoops, now I've stuffed that up altogether. All right, so if I go around and wipe its backside now, might stop that from going off the edge. Yeah. Is it as good as I was hoping? No. Is it okay for my first go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty hard on myself, so usually. So, um... If it's not good, it's not good, you know. I don't like to mince words. I like to say it's crap if it's crap and do you know what? There you go. And it's probably is crap, but you know what? It doesn't matter. you got to try it, hey? I'll have to keep practising until I get it right is all I can do. Interesting how this has gone really dry on me. All right. Again, I'll give it another scrape underneath. Because it's so thin, it is running off the edge. And if I don't give it a clean, it'll come off altogether, I think. Ten minutes, I'll give it another. And then I'll come over and... Touch it up. All right, I'll bring you down, let you have a look at it. So I don't know in that angle whether you can see it properly. Let me see if I can move it around so you can see it a little bit. There you go. What do you think <laughs> for the first time? Um, or maybe I should say second time, seeing the first time didn't work out at all. Uh, and I had to scrape it, but I think this one's better than the last one. I did try to do it with the... Um, serviette swipe I don't think my serviettes are the right type and uh, it did wreck it a little bit so I can say that that one was a bit of a fail I could say that this is my first successful go <laughs> um, as far as it doing something but it's not perfect uh, and I will need lots and lots of help and no matter how many videos you watch I'm the type of person that is visual but I also need to be able to be hands-on and I need my mentor whoever that may be to come and say yes you're doing it right this way or no you're doing it wrong that way um, so watching videos and gives me the idea but I love to have them here and say, no, don't do that. Yes, do that. Give that a go. And um, that's the way I learn. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got to learn one way or another. I'll give that another torch because those bubbles I can still see on there. Oops. Yeah, lots of bubbles. I need lots of practice. So I will keep practicing because I actually like uh, landscapes. Cos Creations is amazing. Brit Clayton Design, amazing. And there's a few others, Chris Jezik. They're all great. 
um, and I've been watching theirs as well as a few others that have done Sunset specifically, and they're amazing. They're all really good, but I need some help. But anyway, this is my video for today. <laughs> if you like my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my next video is uploaded. In the meantime, I will bring you down, give you a quick squeak close-up, and please let me know what you think for a first-timer. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.